Hi, my name is Ed Mullins and I'm a business unit manager in PA Linear. Do you have customers that are involved in optical networking? If you do, there's a great chance that they need the Log114. This video broadcast is a series, a four-part series where we talk about applications for the Log114, a quick design method, and we'll show some simulation results to help your customers get started. The first part, we'll talk about applications for the Log114. The Log114 is a nonlinear trans impedance amplifier designed to convert an input current into an output voltage. Typically, the source of current is from a photodiode. Historically, resistor feedback trans impedance amplifiers have been used to convert the photodiode current to an output voltage when the dynamic range of the input current is anywhere from one to three decades. The Log114 is recommended when the dynamic range of the input current spans more than three decades. The Log114 can be used in applications where the input current ranges up to eight decades. This translates into an input current range that extends from a few tens of picoamps all the way up to 10 milliamps. Common markets for applications that require wide dynamic range current sensing are telecom, optical networking, medical and scientific instruments, and signal processing. The Log114 has been optimized for applications within these markets with a particular emphasis on telecom and optical networking. The Log114 is commonly used in multi-channel erbium dope fiber amplifiers and variable optical attenuators. The combination of wide dynamic range, precision, fast transient response, and stable performance over temperature is unmatched with other log amps, making the Log114 the best choice for EDFA and VOA applications. The typical block diagram of an EDFA or a variable optical attenuator is shown here. Notice that a small percentage of the optical signal, usually 1 to 3 percent, is tapped off the main optical path and detected by a pin photodiode. The current produced by the photodiode is converted to a voltage, filtered and converted to digital for further signal processing to control the gain or attenuation of the optical path. It should be noted that both input and output optical power is monitored in these types of systems. Fast response time of the detector circuit is required to detect when channels are added or dropped from the network. The Log114 has been optimized to have rise and fall times of less than a microsecond for this very demanding application. The Log114 is manufactured on TI's proprietary complementary 10 GHz high performance bipolar process. This process was optimized for fast, high-speed analog circuits such as operational amplifiers and the log amp. Features of the Log114's input amplifiers critical to the performance in EDFAs and variable optical attenuators are its combination of very low input bias current, low offset voltage, low offset voltage drift, and low input capacitance. The log transistors used to convert the input current to a voltage have been carefully designed to provide a very fast transit response while operating at over eight decades of dynamic range in the input current. Included inside the Log114 are two uncommitted high-speed operational amplifiers that can be used for gain scaling and level shifting. A 2.5 volt precision reference is also included which is used to create a stable reference current requiring only a single external resistor allowing further flexibility in the system level design. This concludes part one of our four-part series on the Log114. I'd like to thank you for your time and interest in the product, and if you'd like more information, please visit our website at www.ti.com forward slash log114-v. Thank you.